What's up everyone, welcome to another video. In this video, I'll change the transmission fluid on a 2014 Impala, specifically with the 2.5 liter engine. But the 2.4 and 2.5 liter engines use the same transmission. Before we get started, be sure to subscribe for more how-to and review videos. Now let's get started. First, the owner's manual specifies to change the transmission fluid every 156,000 kilometers or 97,500 miles for normal driving conditions or every 144,000 kilometers or 90,000 miles for severe driving conditions. And the required fluid is Dexron 6 automatic transmission fluid. This transmission does not have a dipstick to check the fluid level. It is a sealed transmission, and there is just a drain plug on the bottom and a fill plug on the top. First, we will drain it. The drain plug is located here, on the bottom of the transmission. The drain plug has a hex head and requires an 11mm socket to remove it. Bring a catch pan underneath and remove the plug to drain the transmission fluid. Here is a close-up of the drain plug. When the fluid stops flowing, reinstall the drain plug. Next, we will measure the volume of transmission fluid that was removed and add the same amount of new fluid back in. I have an empty 5 core oil container with nice clear volume marks, so we'll use this to measure it. I poured all of the old transmission fluid in, then check the volume. And it measured in at 4 and a quarter quarts, or 4 liters. Now we'll add 4 and a quarter quarts of new fluid. It should be similar for you but make sure you measure it. The specific fluid that I used was Valvoline MaxLife Full Synthetic Automatic Transmission Fluid. It meets Dexron 6 as required. I purchased 5 quarts just in case. Better to have extra than not enough. Next, remove the fill cap. It is located here on top of the transmission. And it just screws off by rotating it by hand. It's pretty filthy. After cleaning it up, here is a close-up of the plug. And here is a close-up of the threaded hole that it screws into on top of the transmission. Then I used a nice long funnel to get down to the fill hole and added four and a quarter quarts of new fluid. Next, remove the funnel and reinstall the fill cap. Here is the best view I could get. There's not much room for a camera. Last, hop into the car. Start it up. And with your foot on the brake, cycle the transmission down through park, reverse, neutral, drive, and manual, leaving it in each gear for about 10 seconds. Do the same thing, back up through drive, neutral, reverse, and park. This runs the fluid through the system before you start driving it around and shifting gears. Now you're all set, and that wraps it up. As always, thanks for watching. I hope you found it helpful. Subscribe for more how-to and review videos. Drop any comments below, and I'll see you in the next video.